Good morning. My name is Ali Daniel and I'm here today in Quaker School with Eva Phillips to discuss the ill treatment of animals. What are your views on, on the neglect and abuse of animals? Morning Ali. Personally, I despise the act of animal abuse and every topic within it. The animals that are hurt or ill treated most definitely do not deserve any of it. I agree. Did you know that pet abusers are five times more likely to commit domestic abuse towards other members of the household? How do you feel about this? I feel as though this must be true because if a person is cle clearly has a violent attitude towards others, including animals, then they're not only going to be like that towards pets. I think that if an animal abuser is caught and brought to justice, they should investigate their household relationships to find any links between these harmful acts. Not too long ago, I met a lovely woman who had four beautiful rescue dogs. She was walking three of them and told me about the other one who was left at home. This one was named Bandit and Bandit was abused for two years. He was kept in a tiny cage in a dark room and was starved on extremely scarce food and water. It really frustrates me that people can do this, these things to these innocent animals. That's awful. About horses, have you ever heard about the inhumane acts of horse slaughter? Indeed I have. These horses are slaughtered for meat, which is insane. Horse meat isn't even healthy for human consumption because of the chemicals injected into their bodies before brutally being killed or cut apart. Yes, most horses have unique backgrounds as not all are raised for farms. You can't exactly rely on a single test sample of horse meat. The horses are shipped like cargo for over 24 hours at a time, without food or water. Some are even still conscious during dismemberment. May many even die of shock or terror. It's terrible that we, as humans, are doing this. A few days ago we passed a fair. We were driving on the road and came across some young gypsy boys who were brutally whipping and riding small ponies with no saddle or bridle. These animals are not meant to be rode like racehorses, and their top galloping speed definitely isn't fast. These poor ponies, who were being ridden by these large teenage boys, were being unnecessarily whipped every second. It was also a major hazard to all of the cars and vehicles on the road. It was truly disgusting. What are your views on animal mills, more commonly puppy or kitten mills? These animal mills are, like the other topics, horrible. These animals should not be treated like products, products created for profit and business. They are living things with personality and feelings, and they deserve a good life with love and family. It is so disgusting when you re realise how they are kept. Of course. These mills can have long-term effects on the animals too, mentally and physically. Animal testing can do the same. I can't imagine being confined in a tiny cage and having multiple tests done on me, causing discomfort or pain, so why should animals have to bear it? No animal should ever have to go through any type of testing, whether it's cosmetical testing, chemical testing or any others. Approximately 11.5 million animals are used for testing in Europe every year. It's just not worth it. Animals feel all emotions, fear, pain and sadness. So why do we put animals through this lifelong pain when we don't put humans through it? It's just as bad. They should be free to live a loving life with an affectionate and forgiving family. If you wouldn't test on a human, then why would you test on an animal? It can't carry on any longer. Agreed. It's a shame they could not have found an alternative sooner. These animals have saved millions of lives, but at what costs? Many animals died because of cosmetic testing too, which is absurd in my opinion. Thank you for meeting to discuss the topic today. Goodbye.